this is Adam from ProCAD. So I'm just going to run through the workspace sync function in Vault and its uses. So up here at the top here we have workspace sync. So if I bring this up now you can see, uh, first of all it's going to download and overwrite this particular file here. This is the project file. The reason being the version in Vault is newer than the version in my workspace. So the whole purpose of this workspace sync option is to uh, update your workspace to reflect what's happening in your vault at the moment in time. So it's also gonna delete these two files from my workspace because they're expired unmanaged. Uh, I'll explain that a little more when I go through the settings here, but basically these files are in my workspace, but they're not in vault. Additionally, these files down here are have been removed from vault so the versions in my workspace are no longer of use so i'm going to click the settings button here so uh just to run down through this from top to bottom uh update files in the workspace to latest version or current revision the latest version could be the latest work in progress version current revision will be the latest revision that file is master to and if you check this box release biased it's going to favor the released version of the file over a work in progress version of the file uh, the next thing you have here is just uh, filters and it filters out log files and autocad backup files there that's actually set up by default by the vault itself uh, you can add your own filters to this then afterwards uh, exp expiration settings so this i kind of touched on earlier um, managed files are files that are in vault and that are sitting in your workspace and if they haven't been touched for over two weeks in this case it'll delete the files from your workspace and unmanaged files are files that are not in vault but are sitting in your workspace and if they're there for longer than three weeks this workspace sync will remove those files as well um, then you have some overrides as well you can add uh, files or folders that essentially uh, don't go through this whole workspace sync pro process uh, this tick box down here then is to remove empty folders. So any empty folders in your workspace will be removed. Um, and lastly, these two buttons here are just for saving this setup. So if you have done a particular setup that will be used constantly, you can save it and it'll just export it as a file. And then you can use this to open it again. So this is the import. So if you're using a particular setup, you might want to keep a save of it and this button here is just to import it back in to save you resetting it up again a second time and then we'll just click ok and we'll run through the uh, workspace sync we'll click finish down here so it's downloaded this file and it's removed all these files from my work in progress folder now close luckily if you did delete some files that you didn't want to delete um, they go to your recycle bin so here you can see these are this is my recycle bin and these are the files that I recently synced out or removed from my uh, work folder via the workspace sync option so if you are to delete files using the workspace sync it's not the end of the world the files will be sitting in your recycle bin so until you empty your recycle bin you haven't actually lost any of those files mm -hmm. 